Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA just seem to be killing off their game of FIFA 22 right now inside of this preseason promo. The content is still dropping, but it is very repetitive and lackluster. And that's just kind of the feeling of this preseason promo, especially for the past couple of days. And I think there is one specific reason for why that is happening. I want to talk about that today, but there's still a part of the content right now. It's not that repetitive. It's pretty unique and that is the player SBCs. Antonio Rudiger dropped yesterday and of course we're still asking the question will the Renato SBC ever drop EA Sports? Give us that Renato that we have been leaked now basically five days ago we learned about this SBC coming we still haven't had it in the game hopefully fingers crossed again Today is going to be our day. Also, we're hoping for some showdown upgrades based off of the game we had yesterday between Juve and Roma. We are looking at a plus one upgrade for both Pogba and Wijnaldum after that game ended in a draw one to one. So we are expecting plus one on each card. No 98 rated, but two 97s will come from that match. Hopefully they upgrade those today even because last week with Ericsson, they upgraded them so fast. Hopefully they continue that trend today on Sunday, we will just have to see. So if you're somehow enjoying the menu grinds right now, I applaud you. And also, if you are grinding the FIFA 23 rewards, that's what you should be doing. So, you know, I commend you if you're grinding the menus and the uh, objectives at this time. But before we get into it today, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe button. And if you're enjoying the videos, give them a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's just talk about preseason content really quickly in general. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here. I'm not trying to be negative and talk down about this preseason promo because again, there are a lot of bright spots. It's just starting to get a little bit repetitive in certain areas. Specifically, the 82 plus player picks, the shapeshifter player picks, just everything that we see every single day in this game, even the 85 times 10, I'll say it, is becoming a little bit repetitive because yes, we can do it three times a day, but it doesn't have as much hype as it used to have. And that's the one thing that I mentioned in the intro about the one thing that this promo is really lacking is hype with the players in packs. And what I'm really seeing on this game right now is a lack of motivation to grind the menus and to grind the content because there is a lot of content available, but it's all based around what cards we have in packs right now. If we had better items in packs, if they would have just kept the same 200 cards, maybe mix it up a little bit even, but kept 200 special cards in packs for this preseason promo like we had during the last couple of weeks during footies, it would be a completely different story right now because 82 plus player picks don't even, they're not even worth it at this stage, especially with how low priced some of your fodder is in this game. Wow, I have no gold. That's crazy. Um, you know, fodder like 87 rated cards are how much right now? 87 rated cards are 7k. That means that every single player pick that you're doing, I believe is around 7k, 8k to do an 82 plus player pick. Again, we talked about this last week. You have to be getting an 88 rated to break even. 87 or 88 rated at the least to break even. And there's not very many special cards in packs. So that's not super easy to get done. That's why I think a lot of people are saying that the content right now is just a little bit lackluster. I really do, do think that that hype is based around having only 100 cards in packs and those 100 players not even be all the best of the best. Uh, despite from a couple of the top cards like Ronaldo, Ginola, and Mbappe. So it's it's just a little bit, you know, unfortunate that EA seemed to be killing the hype of this game. Like, I mean, think about it. If you're EA Sports, wouldn't you want to be dropping content right now that people would be very interactive with and excited for? Couple that with the FIFA 23 excitement with the brand new features and everything coming out with the game in one month from now. Wouldn't you think that those two things would want to go together? And, you know, I feel like they did a great job at the end of footies with great content. I mean, all of these footies SBCs that we had like Salah, Mendy, Griezmann, St. Max, and Neymar were dropped within like a 10-day span on this game in the last two weeks of footies. It was phenomenal. And since then, it has just gone downhill in most areas. 
And I really do think that it's just based around what's in packs. I think that's that's the biggest key for all of this. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with that because I know a lot of people right now are just logging on to FIFA every day to check the content, check the player SBC, maybe do a couple 85 times 10s. I don't even have motivation to get these done right now. I have high rated fodder to get Rudiger done if I want to. I don't have golds, I have specials. Uh, but you know, 85 times 10s are just, they're, they're average with what's in packs. So, it's very, very unfortunate. Uh, we just don't know the answer. We never do, right? It's just why would EA Sports do this heading into a very crucial time of the year for them? I don't understand, and we don't either. But we'll just we'll just roll with the punches because there still is some good content. Like I mentioned, the 50K pack, some of the player SBCs are really nice and fun to get done. So we'll keep continuing to focus on those um, and enjoy those cards that do drop. Now, speaking about those, today on Sunday... This better be the Renato day, right? We're now asking the question, you know what? I almost feel like I'm hoping for the repeatable 85 times 10 as much as I'm hoping for this Renato Sanchez SBC, right? For the past few weeks, we've been like, EA Sports, where's this 85 times 10 unlimited? They still haven't given it to us yet. And now we're like, okay, we have this leaked Renato. It's almost the same vibes. We're like, EA, are you ever going to drop this SBC? I mean, it's leaked, so we're assuming that it's going to be coming but we still have not seen it yet. So that's a big one for today on Sunday. Could it be the day finally? I think it could be. The reason why I think it could be again, I, you know, you're like, Nate, you've been making excuses the last couple of days. Well, here's another excuse for you today. I would not be, um, you know, expectant of EA Sports to drop two center back SBCs back to back days. Rudiger yesterday and Diego Carlos today, that just does not seem something like EA. That's not an EA thing to do. So I do think Renato could be today. Hopefully it's today on Sunday. Goodness gracious, EA. It's about time. So along with that today on Sunday, what what, what else would I expect? Well, in the SBC section, uh, under the live tab, we have these two moments SBCs that are expiring. The 93 plus nation specific and also the 93 plus moments icon unlimited repeatable. Again, Going along with the theme of repetitive player picks and repetitive SBCs, I would not be surprised if they just hit the refresh button, the recycle button, and these same two SBCs would come back today. Maybe they would up this to the 94 plus, but that shrinks your player pool even more. Um, yeah, I don't think too many people are even doing those SBCs at this stage in the game. Anyways, and of course, like I mentioned in the intro as well, we are really hoping for the upgrades today. That would at least bring a little bit of hype to maybe if you're playing a weekend league and like, hey, I've got Pogba or Wijnaldum. Those guys getting a plus one today or hopefully today. Again, like I, like you guys remember that Erickson was upgraded a mere 12 hours after the game ended. Now, of course, this was a Monday game from last week. So I'm going to reserve my uh, optimism for a Pogba or Wijnaldum upgrade to happen today on Sunday since it's during the weekend, but I don't know. EA Sports can definitely do stuff that fast. We've seen it before. Maybe they'll do it again. We might have to wait the extra day just because it is a weekend, um, and I'm sure a lot of those guys that work at EA are, you know, it's the weekend, right? So they're at home. So we'll have to see what happens with these cards, but if they get upgraded today, that'd be fantastic. A lot of people would love that for finishing off their weekend leagues, but other than that, I'm not expecting too much else to happen today on FIFA. Now, rolling it back in time and talking yesterday for a little bit, under that milestones tab, once again, we did get a preseason cup like we talked about yesterday. Rewards, I believe, are exactly the same. You're going for 27 wins. You got seven days to do it. You get the 94 plus shapeshifters, the 93 plus shapeshifters. You got 85 fives, 85 tens, and regular player picks as your rewards. So nothing different there. It's the exact same friendly mode as well. And, you know, nothing else going on in objectives. Um, new as of yesterday besides the preseason cup. So, you know, personally, I'm grinding this kickstart mode. Man City is done. I got to do, I think I'm going to do Chelsea next to mix it up with those guys. And then um, I, the warm-up challenge will actually be an SBC we'll be looking out for today, I do believe. Yeah, warm-up challenge should be available today again. So everybody getting an 85 times five and getting two, uh, the second warm-up challenge done out of three in order to get those FIFA 23 rewards. So, that's just kind of the grind right now in this game. Now, let's talk Rudiger for a second because this SBC, actually, if you go on Footbin, uh, taking our first trip over to Footbin today in the video, 
95% upvote for Antonio Rudiger. With these links and just the legacy, you know, that's kind of a, a good word to describe what this guy is in FIFA right now. The legacy that this Rudiger card had from earlier on in the year with the team of the year honorable mentions and how good he was. With the price point that he's coming in at, 200,000 coins. I mean, what is there not to like about this card? Again, the good value, transfer SBCs, continue to roll through. And again, like I said earlier, this is the brightest spot of the preseason promo. I mean, there's no dynamic images, which kind of sucks, but having these transfer SBCs with such high ratings, such great value is just a tremendous dub. This guy's probably one of the best, if not the best center back in the game after his release yesterday. So definitely go ahead and get that one done. You know, like we expected as well, Real Madrid links are on the rise. Some of them are even extinct. And here's a quick message to EA Sports. Don't forget to upgrade these price ranges, man. Valverde is extinct at 210,000 coins, up from 100, sorry, up over 100,000 coins since last week or two weeks ago when he was released um, and put out of packs from the footies batch two. He is now up from 80K to 210K and extinct. Marcelo Shapeshifters, look how rare this guy is, man. I mean, 800,000 coins. He has a couple cards until 800K. He was, he was 370K at the end of footies. Now his price has doubled. You know, you look at guys like Vinicius Jr. He is up in price. You look at the captain's Marcelo, also 600,000 coins. Crazy rise there. And then, of course, you look at a substitute good, right? You look at a Rudiger as a center back in La Liga, Real Madrid center back, a substitute item would be Eder Militao. This guy's price is down bad. He's rebounded back a bit from 180,000 coins. He went all the way down to 85K, 100,000 coin drop off yesterday. He is now back up to about 119, 120. If you have this card and you bought in the low time here, I would take the cash, take the quick flip. This is something that we always trade with during the main parts of the year in FIFA is when you see a brand new substitute item drop and you see such a big drop off in price on a card that people are maybe selling to get the new version or the new card, you know, some people look at this card and say, oh my goodness, Militao went from 180K to 80,000 coins. I can't afford Rudiger at 200K or I, I want Eder Militao for the Brazilian links that Rudiger does not offer. Let me get this guy in my team. And still you might have people that are using Rudiger and Militao together. So you have that price that bounces back a little bit. So when you see such a big drop off like that and it's a meta player, especially like Militao, absolute great opportunity to trade. So that's just something to keep in mind as we head towards FIFA 23 and we get in that trading mindset once again. But that substitute method trading is very, very viable. And a lot of those Real Madrid cards have gone up because of the Rudiger links. How about Hazard? Just want to take a look at him really fast. Uh, Hazard was 80K. He's up to 90. So a small rise there. Nothing too crazy. That's kind of what I would expect with PSG cards today as well. It, again, it does just depend on the Renato price. Uh, well, I say today, expecting Renato to drop. It would depend on the Renato price for sure. But, you know, cards like a, a Neymar, Winter Wild card, some of those more, more rare ones, maybe some of your shapeshifter PSG cards uh, that are out there. You know, a Messi's definitely a bit more expensive. Uh, but just kind of keep in mind some of those shapeshifter tots some of the end game cards that are psg players um that people might go out and link to a renato sanchez if he does drop today so there's really not much else to cover right now if you're in fifa 23 to 22 wow i'm jumping the gun a little bit if you're still grinding fifa 22 at the moment you're maybe playing weekend league you're getting those friendly games done and that's kind of what there is to do there's still sbcs in here but again like i said without having a lot of great cards and packs the motivation is down bad for a lot of people, and even myself included. I'm not spending as much time. I haven't logged in the companion app in like, I can't lie, like weeks uh, for more than like two minutes to do an 85 times 10 or something like that. So it's just the end game. It does happen, but also it's a bit of a head scratcher because you would think that EA would wanna bring some hype right before FIFA 23, and it feels like they must be done with that because footies is over, and here we are in preseason. And there's not too much hype. So we'll just have to see what happens today on Sunday. Good luck if you're grinding Weekend League. Have fun if you're touching grass instead. And of course, if you did enjoy today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.